Hey everybody, welcome back to another ST3D video. Like always, I'm VJ. Today we're going to be reviewing the 3D Solutech PLA and the color is going to be pink. Now normally I don't make a big deal about the box guys, as you guys know, it's all about the packaging. But I really like the box that this came in. It has that 50s retro look to it. I don't know if you guys can uh, agree with me on that or not. But this one, like I said, it is a pink PLA. Uh, 1.75 it comes very well packaged as you can see here once I take this out uh, it's vacuum sealed pretty well the one thing weird about the box was I did not see as you can see here even outside on the box or on the spool itself what the printing temperature is the crazy thing is the printing temperature is actually in this little card that you see inside and the printer are uh, recommended printing temperature on this one is 190 to 220 in between somewhere in there but uh, like I said again it came very well packaged uh, as you can see is very well sealed the only real concern I had was if you notice closely to how they wrap the PLA here the first layer seems kinda wavy and not very straight so I don't know how that's gonna work when it's going through the feeder uh, to the nozzle is it gonna cause issues or jamming or whatnot uh, let's find out I guess as we go now um, besides that it has a very nice bright pink color to it I really like it the second layer after the first rolled layer seems pretty good uh, these are little blue clips which I'll mention uh, or talk about later down the line and let you know what they're about but it comes with these little promotional things inside and uh, basically what the first one is it tells you the temperature um, the second one just says, hey, thank you for using it and uh, <clears throat> use the clips if you don't want any jamming. And then the next one we're going to see right now basically say, says if you go on their Instagram uh, and post your prints, they will uh, pick five prints every week and give you a 16 gig hard drive. All right, that's enough talk about packaging. Let's go ahead and get started on some prints and see how this PLA really does. So these are the three prints that I did, and they came out pretty damn good, I gotta say. Um, they were all printed at point .2, uh, my bed was at 60, and the speed was at 50, okay? So this one I printed first just to test the temperature. This was a little bit higher. Uh, this was at 200. I actually lowered the temp to 195 for the other two pieces, and it came out pretty darn good. So as you can see on this one, even though it's very small, it still came out pretty good. Uh, there is a few zitting on here and that was due to overheating. This is my very first print. I was just trying to dial in the temperature. My next one, I actually printed this Banshee. This was my very first Banshee, actually, believe it or not, guys. Um, <clears throat> and I was pretty impressed with it. The curves came out pretty nice. The lines uh, were very straight. Uh, there was no support on these. This was printed again at the same speed and temp. The top came out perfectly, as you can see right there. Um, so I was very happy with it overall. The only issue I had was if you see right through that little circle right there, and I think it's because I didn't have any supports, uh, right at the top it kind of messed up just a little bit. But that's the only part that I would say I really had an issue with. Besides that, I'm very happy with the way my second print turned out. So after dialing in everything, I printed this ginormous vase. I've never printed a vase either, so I gave it a shot. Did it for my daughter because it was in the color pink and she loves it. And uh, this was also printed at 50 and I used Cura to do it. And I used a special vase mode on that. And it came out pretty good. It's very smooth. There's no visible Z layering on here and uh, the inside was perfect uh, there was no stringing at all again uh, this took roughly around 16 hours or so to do <clears throat> but I gotta say this PLA overall guys once you get it dialed in it only took me two small prints to do it the prints came out amazing I mean I really like it for the price you can't really go wrong with it I was a little concerned about the way the spool was rolled up on the first layer but it worked out perfectly fine so I hope you found this review uh, helpful guys this is on the 3D Solutech filament uh, if you have questions comments leave it down below if you like it thumbs up if you want to see more new content go and subscribe to the channel and like always ladies and gentlemen good luck and happy printing